Make sure your cameras are rolling for this. The Chevy Camaro American Muscle going up against our huge SUV to be tag. Take a look at that guy. Try his best to catch up. <laughs> Two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! 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 at yung kanilang SUV type na BYD tank. Siyempre, magtatanong din tayo sa mga kapwa natin magtetest drive dito kung ano yung kanilang mga experience patungkol dito sa performance ng ating mga electric vehicle. Tara, let's go! They are rolling! Take a look at the side-by-side moment! The BYD hot! And actually, press on this acceleration. Let's go! Porsche 911, Turbo S on the right side, and uh, BYD Han tries to catch up. That's just three cars length. It's the Chevy Camaro going up against our SUV, the seven-seater, the BYD Tang. The BYD Tang has got a 4.9 second, zero to 100 performance. Three, two, one. Let's go! Make sure your cameras are rolling for this. The Chevy Camaro American Muscle going up against our huge SUV, the BYD Tag. Take a look at that guy. And Clown tries his best to catch up. <laughs> EV, i-test drive natin yung acceleration nitong BYD hand. Okay? Based on the brochure, uh, 3.8 seconds or 3.9? 3.9 seconds, 0 to 100. 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Naiwan niya ako dun ah! Oh, actually, kita mana? Enjoy. Apa nak? Apa nak? Di mana kita lihat orang tua? Welcome back. Oh, di sini pula. Kaibi, kung interesado ka sa mga electric vehicle na tulad dito, please subscribe sa ating channel. Scroll mo na rin ang ating video section. Baka dyan mo na makita ang bagay na EV na para sa iyo. Like mo na rin ang video na iyong pinapanood bilang suporta at tulong sa ating channel. Let's go! EV, nandito ko si Sir Ron De Los Reyes of Auto Review. Okay, one of the longest auto review dito sa Pilipinas. All right? And Sir Ron, kasawa kita kan ini sa BYD Han. Oh, apa tanya di sini Sir? What message do you have for those who still doubt the power and performance of electric vehicles? Kami misconception pada ting sa mga electric vehicles. Sir, alright, Mark, thank you. Well, you have to trust the technology, and electric vehicles are growing and improving the. Uh, features and uh, this one is a very good example the Han luxury uh, electric uh, sedan because uh, I think a BYD has uh, perfected the technology already because they have the, the battery they manufacture them and then uh, you have uh, all the safety features in them and uh, the driving range is uh, going longer Yes. So I think the, the range society, you can take it off. I like the EV because it gives you some freedom because you can charge it at home. You don't have to go to a gas station. And when you worry about uh, the rains or some floods, mm -hmm. I think uh, even when you drive an ICE, you worry about the flood. So if you see the, the flood water up, then you don't, go, don't go ahead. <laughs> don't go ahead. <laughs> Get it then, right? the same. Uh -huh. Uh, we had an interesting test drive of another 
a BYD car in, in China and it was raining the whole time. And we, we saw some uh, puddles of, uh, of uh, water on the racetrack. But we continued driving, we were driving fast and we had a good drive and uh, exhilarating of that. And we had no problem, no water uh, sipping underneath because it's all sealed. I think this is the future of uh, travel. Uh, electric vehicles save on the environment uh, yes. you help preserve it at the same time you get to enjoy the acceleration mas mabilis nga eh mas mabilis ang EV kesa sa mga ordinary or conventional uh, vehicles I tried it on a BYD Dolphin I drove it from Quezon City all the way to Malvar in uh, Batangas and I noticed on the start tollway I was mm -hmm. running fast and even overtaking some cars and EVs and it looked like the, the drivers of the other cars were amazed. We can trust the technology. That's where the world mm -hmm. is going, going electric. That's the way to go. I think most car companies trying to go 100% electric. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Ron, for, for the message. Uh, alam niyo naman, marami ang nag maling akala pagdating sa mga electric vehicle, pagdating sa performance and power. And now, Sir Ron, ay isa sa mga nag-test talaga na sa simula't simula ng mga electric vehicle, nandun na siya. Nakita niya yung improvement, innovation, di ba, pagdating sa mga electric vehicle. And now, thank you, Sir Ron. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, ano ba yung message mo, Sir Rico Suave, sa mga tao may doubt pa rin pagdating sa power performance ng mga electric vehicle? Uh, magandang hapon sa lahat sa go e vehicle Philippines natin na nagpo-focus sa mga electric vehicle dito sa Philippines. Yan, nandito ang bidang-bidang friend natin si Brother Mark, di ba? Uh, ayun lang kasi uh, when we started sa electric vehicle, uh, syempre yung mga tao hindi sila sanay sa changes, di ba? Before NA engine, tapos nagkaroon ng turbo, parang... Kinukutsa nila bakit may kasamang turbo na yan. Mas gusto namin yung naturally aspirated na engine. So ngayon, uh, sinasabihin lang natin yung pagbabago. And kung nag-aano kayo, kung nag-wonder kayo, uh, actually, electric vehicles are ano, performance ready na rin. Ang alam lang kasi natin before is Tesla, which is mahal. Diba? Parang di afford. Pero ngayon, nandito na yung mga Chinese auto brand natin. Nagahatid sila ng mga, uh, kumbaga, kung ano yung inahanap natin sa mga ice applied na engine, 'di ba? Yung equip ng makina talaga, eh mas kayang higitan ng ano ng mga electric vehicle. So number one sa akin gusto ko ikwento sa inyo. Ah, uh, pag nag-own ka ng electric vehicle, actually kanina lang sinabi 70% ng uh, expense mo through travel na nagpapagas ka tat, dati, 'yun yung masasave mo. Kasi la, kunwari, sabi natin 10,000 ang gasolina mo isang buwan. Ang gagastusin mo na lang, pag nag-electric vehicle ka, 30% na lang, so that's 3,000 pesos. And syempre, nature-friendly pa. Di ba? Para sa Mother Earth natin. And bukod doon, ang nakita ko pa dyan, pag din-ride mo ang isang electric vehicle, napaka-seamless ng power niya, dere-derecho. Kumbaga yung response, talagang walang delay. Oo, dere-derecho yan kasi hindi na mag sa second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and ayun, uh, tahimik siya. Kumbaga, mas nakaka-relax. Parang yung din-ride namin ngayon dito sa BYD Han. Kumbaga, ayun, uh, ang lupit eh, 0 to 100, 3.9 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go! Uy! Ay! <laughs> wow! Woo! Uh, yeah. See? Almighty power. <laughs> yeah, warp speed. <laughs> sa mga dati nating sasakyan, uh, huwag kayong matakot sa pag sa mga pagbabago. Kasi ako yung kumpare ko, nag-oon ng isang electric vehicle from 25,000 monthly niya na gas allowance. Ngayon, ang computation niya, nagcha-charge lang siya sa bahay niya, is dalawang piso per kilometer. Ang one month niya, aabutin lang ng 2,000 pesos. So, yun yung nakakatuwa doon. Tsaka pag pumarka sa mga mall, meron doon mga charging station, din nakakatuwa noon. Parang ang social mo tingnan kasi pag nasa charging station ka, oo, oh, kasi dadalawa lang yun, o isa lang yung slot doon. 
parang VIP, iba yung kwarto mo eh. So yun lang uh, para sa akin, mas makakapag uh, makatipid kayo tapos syempre yung parts ng ng yung makina wala eh, di ba? Yung change oil wala 'yan. Para sa akin, mas maganda mag-test drive sila ng mga yeah. ano. Hindi lang BYD ah, yung mga available pa like mga MG or other auto brand para maranasan niyo kung ano yung pinaka uh, kaya niyang ibigay na ano na driving experience. Basta wag kayong matakot kasi ano, soon after five years from now Uh, 10 years from now, halos baka 30%, 40% na yung mga naka-electric vehicle. Tsaka kagandaan pa nun, wala pang coding until 2030. Hanggat konti pa, sulitin na natin. O diba, importante yun. At least walang uhuli-huli sa atin. Uh, yun, yun naman ang para sa akin, Brother Mark. Ano? Thank you, Sir Rico. Oh, Brother Mark, maraming salamat rin at uh, naimbitahan ako dito sa iyong channel. Oh. Alright. Tsaka huwag kayong mag-ano, huwag kayong malibutan mag-subscribe kay Brother Mark kasi focus siya sa niche ng mga electric vehicle. So, yung sa akin naman, halo-halo. Basta kung anong makita kong sasakyan galing sa mga sports cars, mga kaibigan, yun naman yung sa akin. Alright. Uh, thank you, Sir Rico, again. Thank you again. Thanks for having me. Let's go! It's very powerful. You feel so good when you're in the car. Nagulat ako because when I first stepped on it, medyo napaganon ako kasi ang lakas. Like, 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. Oh, di ba? 3.9 seconds. Alam na alam ang ano. Pero, yeah, sob- sobrang lakas. Ang saya niyang i-drive. Ang saya niyang nakasakay ka lang sa likod. So, yeah, it's... It's a really good innovation and I'm glad na meron na rin siya sa Pilipinas. That's true. Yeah. And also when it comes to EV, I mean, if we consider natin, grabe na rin naman kasi yung mga advancements of technology. For So for us to assume na hindi siya malakas, I really feel like you need to take into consideration how far we've come in comparison to the past years. And if you're still doubting, at the end of the day, kailangan mo lang talaga ma-try for yourself. Yeah, exactly. And powerful na nga. Maganda yung performance. And at the same time, it's much more cost-efficient. That's true. Much yeah. more cost-efficient in terms of recharging your batteries. And at the same time, you help Mother Earth because yeah. it's sustainable. Hello, mga kaibi! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and share. And of course, subscribe to... Go E-Vehicle! Electric Vehicle Channel! Hey! <laughs> Again, thank you BYD Philippines for inviting Electric Vehicle Channel. Go E-Vehicle! Are you always stressed about your office printer and always running out of ink? SMRG offering a printer for rent, unlimited ink and no maintenance. Please call our contact number or message us on Facebook page. Thank you.